Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video we'll be doing the new beginning seasonal championship of Spring Series 2 Forza Horizon 5. And this one puts us in GT Cars A-Class Road Racing. So I chose 2010 Maserati Gran Turismo S, tuned specifically for you by PTG Toasty and painted by PTG Flux. And I have to say I like this car a lot. For no specific reason, there's not one thing that I like in particular, but just overall. I like how it looks, I like how it sounds, I like how it drives. Overall, it feels really comfortable and nice to drive it. And it seems to work really well in this setup right off the start. Look, we already 6th, catching, yeah, got the 5th, now we'll take the 4th. And we are really close to the first 3, in, uh, out of this corner we'll try to take on this Jaguar, no he's pushing us, yeah, okay, that wasn't a very elegant fight, but we came up as a winner from it, Jaguar is behind, and we have a little bit of catching up to do with the first two, because the fight costed us uh, quite a few seconds, but if uh, the beginning of the race is any indication, they don't have any chances, yeah, now we got both of them at once, right, so, Halfway down the race, we are in the first position without any significant difficulties whatsoever. So this is more like our regular uh, seasonal championship, uh, not like the dirt race we had done first in this week. If you didn't do it yourself yet, be prepared. The rally championship this week is quite a bit more difficult than usual. At least it felt so for me. I will put the video link in the description just in case you need a reference or you want to borrow a tune and car combination, which is basically what I do this video for. And uh, yeah, uh, this one, as I already mentioned, is doesn't seem difficult at all. I think that's the last big corner uh, before we finish. And of course, I had to mess it up right away while looking uh, behind. But we have such a gap in front of AI that yeah that's an easy win no worries at all wonderful car wonderful tune and brilliant paint let's see what the next one is right the next race is in copper canyon sprint and I quite like this layout, I did a few of those uh, in Rivals and uh, yeah, it offers a spectacular view of the canyon and is generally pretty nice to drive with a little bit of fun when you go under the rail tracks. So off we go, uh, this is a long straight at the beginning so we will catch up AI somewhere where they break here for no reason at all. I'm not sure why they slowed down but yeah that's as the AI but that means we are up in fifth and all the rest are very close together so now third and we should be taken on the first two momentarily uh, lost it a little bit in the previous corner but we should pass them here and one more to go and one more corner yep off we go a little bit less elegant than uh, than should be but yeah well he can call police on me I guess now we are in a free air uh, enjoying the first position, brushing the wall a little bit, which throws us to the right, but uh, we, I managed to save it. And this is the section where uh, there's rail tracks above us, and I think in Rivals I managed to hit one of those support pillars like four times in a row. For, I don't know why, but yeah, there was some magnetism there. So while we are enjoying the rest of the race here, it's worth mentioning that this seasonal championship can bring you up to three additional accolades if you don't have them yet the the one is to just win the road race in gt car which is exactly what we are doing if you didn't have that accolade it will unlock automatically after you win the first race the two others are to win the road race in aston martin vantage and another is bentley continental super sports so if you have those cars you can use them to win uh, any of these races and you'll get the accolade. I, I, I like this uh, Maserati too much to switch the cars and I have all those accolades already anyway um, but yeah you could use any of those cars there's plenty of tunes available already posted because uh, uh, quite obviously they become quite popular these days 
so yeah, if you're missing those acolytes, it's a good chance to catch them uh, and get the championship off your list. Now this is a little bit of a tight chicane. I need to try to uh, a little bit slow here, but uh, uh, it's still faster than hitting the wall. Uh, and uh, we are approaching the final sector of the race which also goes to us uh, you know really easily uh, the usual seasonal championship play that's not a huge of a challenge but I like the spectacular view so I still like to do them uh, they're quite enjoyable to do now the last corner after this bridge and we will be closing the second race of this championship in the first place as usual Whoa. Off the list, uh, it wasn't hard, it was quite relaxing, three minutes uh, plus, and yeah, we'll see what's next. The last race of this championship is in Riviera Sprint, which is another relaxing and nice race for us. Uh, in this setup, I don't expect that AI will suddenly wake up and pose significant challenge, so yeah, let's prepare for an easy ride. The reward for this championship is uh, a new exclusive car, by the way. 2002 Ferrari 575M Maranello, uh, which, yeah, this is currently the only way to obtain it uh, through this championship. It's not a wheel spin car, uh, it's not available in Forza Sun shop. So if you are a car collector, you might want to grab it, otherwise uh, you'll have to put quite some credits uh, on, the, uh, on the auction house for it if somebody decides to sell it, but it might be quite a bit hard to find. Anyways, we up in the fourth position now, passed it for third, uh, catching up on the second, no problem at all, and we'll pass the first one, if we're a bit lucky on this corner. There we go. You can see how heavily AI in these lower difficulties breaks uh, before the corners. And uh, this is quite specific to road racing. They actually don't do this, uh, at least not as pronounced, in rally and cross country. Well, we lost it a little bit there. Uh, and as a result, was breaking too hard before this corner. But again, we're, we're so far ahead that uh, I can make all mistakes possible and still win it which is again very different to what we've seen in the rally one where if i was trying to drive like that i would be finishing second half the race done uh and we can't see any ii's anymore uh so just enjoying the scenery uh, scaring the the cows and chickens and uh donkeys that now roam the fields um funny enough you couldn't hear all right okay yeah, I need to concentrate on driving sometimes rather than talking. Um, in Forza Horizon 4, you couldn't really hit ship. The ones that are running in the fields, they had some kind of avoidance algorithm that would make them jump straight from under your hood, uh, no matter how fast you drive. You still could glitch them in, uh, and of course they're transparent, there's no collision with them, so they don't spectacularly fly into the sky after being hit by a Ferrari. Uh, but still, um, here in Forza Horizon 5, the donkeys in the field, uh, you can actually run over them. Yeah, There's still no collision, you just drive through them, but they are not as smart in avoiding uh, the cars than English ship. I know, maybe that's a couple of centuries of natural selection with uh, reckless drivers in England. Uh, <laughs> a couple of centuries might be a bit of a stretch, but yeah. So ship in England um, have better self-preservation than donkeys in Mexico. That's my learning from Forza Horizon. And, uh, <laughs> and that particularly spectacular learning, we are approaching the finish of this race and we are winning this championship. Uh, that's it, the prize is ours. This championship wasn't uh, any difficult. Uh, the time is almost exactly the same as the previous, uh, 3.02. And with that, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about it. Any positive or negative feedback, I'm happy to read it. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.